Hey guys, I'm Sulia and welcome to this Warlords of Draenor raiding guide. Today we'll be taking a look at Hanskar and Franzog in Mythic Blackrock Foundry. This video will focus on the changes to the Mythic encounter, so if you don't know the heroic mechanics, check out our guide in the annotation. On Mythic mode, this encounter requires plenty of coordination, so we'll take it one step at a time. There is now another environmental ability called Smart Stampers. This will activate shortly after the start of the fight, after the Searing Plates phase and after the regular Pulverizing Stampers phase. These Stampers are called Smart because they will press down on wherever players are standing. When the Smart Stampers activate, the segments on which players are standing will start to light up. After 8 seconds, a Stamper will crash down onto that segment and will stay down for some time, so you want to move to the next segment before that happens. To deal with this, you should definitely pay attention to how we do this in the video as well. We have two groups of 10 people. Each group has access to two rows of the encounter area and the groups stay on the same segments relative to each other. So when the smart stamper phase is about to start, we have groups 1 and 2 on a segment in the third row and groups 3 and 4 on a segment in the first row. 5 seconds after the segments start to glow, the raid leader calls out next and everyone moves to the segment to the right. Again we wait 5 seconds, wait for the raid leader's call and move over. Rinse and repeat until you hit one of the transition phases from the heroic mode. If someone accidentally activates a segment too far, you can have the raid leader call out move 2 so that the entire raid can move 2 segments and is still in the same position relative to each other. The second change in this encounter is that body slam hurts like a truck but its damage is now shared among everyone who gets hit by it. This means that during the smart stamper phase, you'll automatically deal with it because you have two sets of players moving as a group. However, in the regular phase from Heroic, your two clumps of people will need to keep close together to share the damage then as well. All stompers in this encounter will now one-shot you, so you'll certainly have to perfect not getting hit by the stompers in the regular stamper phase. In both, the Searing Plates and the normal Stompers phase, new patterns have been added. In the Searing Plates phase, four plates can spawn at a single time, meaning there will only be one line that will be safe. During the normal Stompers, it won't be unusual that a lot of the segments will be covered. We've got multiple markers as safe spots, which indicate places where there should always be one safe segment. After you finish watching this video, check out our extra mythic Hans and Franz Presser Dodging, which I originally recorded for my guild. In it you can see how little you actually have to move to dodge the normal presses. While progressing through this encounter, we found that the normal presses phase was the most deadly. It starts around 53% and ends around 38%. We found it was best to use heroism at this point, so that we could get through it as quickly as possible. Now that we have it on farm, we use heroism at 25%. This fight just comes down to movement so it'll just take your team practice to get used to the waves and motions of this fight. To conclude this guide, the following is the phase organization of this encounter. 10 seconds after the start of the encounter, to 85% health, you'll have to deal with smart presses. 85% to 69% health, you'll have to deal with searing plates. 69% to 53%, you'll have to deal with smart presses. 53% to 39%, you'll have to deal with regular presses. 39% to roughly 25%, you'll have to deal with smart presses again. And finally, 25% to 0%, you'll have to deal with searing plates and then regular presses. If you like this rating guide, please comment, subscribe and click the like button. If you would like to keep updated with new videos coming out but you don't have a YouTube account, you can follow us on Twitter or Facebook at twitter.com slash bvmazzy or facebook.com slash wowweekly. Also be sure to check out our website wowweekly.net where you can find written content as well. For now, I'm Sulia and I'll see you again next time.